Hello everyone, my name is Anmar Kamil. Today's topic is solving a question regarding to commodity market model. Uh, if you're taking a mathematical economics course, most likely you're going to come across uh, a question or a problem like the one that I have it on the board. So let's take a look at the question and then I will show you uh, how to solve this problem. The question here says consider the following commodity market model. I have a QD1, QS1, QD2, QS2, QD3, and QS3. And use Kramer's rule to find the market equilibrium prices for each of these goods. Now, before I show you how to solve the problem, I'm going to define uh, some variable here in this uh, question. Uh, QD is a quantity demand and QS quantity supply and P is the price alright <clears throat> now uh, next thing I want to list a step uh, one by one step to solve this problem. So I'm going to write down here uh, the step. Alright. Uh, first step I'm going to set both equations equal each other. And Second step, uh, move and combine like term. And number three, transfer to matrix format. And number four, use Kramer's rule to solve the problem. All right, first step, first step uh, it sets both equation equal each other. What I mean by both equation, I'm gonna set QD1 equal to QS1 and QD2 equal to QS2 and then QD3 equal to QS3. All right, so let's do this one. The first equation I'm going to have 23 minus 5 P1 plus P2 plus P3 equal the quantity supply 1, negative 8 plus 6 P1. And the second one, 15 minus 3. P2 plus P1 plus 2 P3 equal negative 11 plus 3 P2 and the third one 19 minus 4 P3 plus P1 plus 2 P2 equal negative 5 3 P3 all right now I set both equation equal each other the second step is to move the variables in one side and the constant on the other side and then combine like terms so I'm gonna do it here <coughs> By doing this one, I'm going to have the following equation. Uh, minus, minus 11 P1 plus P2 plus P3 equal negative 31. And the second one is 
D1 minus 6, D2 equals 2, D3 equals negative 26, and the third one, P1 plus 2, P2 minus 7, P3 equals negative 24. I move the variables on one side and the constant on the other side and then combine like terms. I get the following three equations. Now, uh, I'm ready to transfer it to a matrix format. And matrix format basically is the following. Matrix A multiplied by X matrix X equal matrix D. Matrix A is the coefficient of each variable x is the variables that we are trying to solve and d is the constants of the variable of the equation all right so i'm gonna have negative 11, 1, 1, 1, negative 6, 2, 1, 2, and negative 7. This is matrix A. If you multiply it by matrix X, which is the variables that we are trying to solve, solve P1, P2, and P3 equal the constant. All right, this is a little bit of amplification. So this is matrix A, and this is X, and this is D. All right. Um, I transfer to matrix format. Now I am ready to use uh, Kramer's rule to solve the problem. Okay. The Kramer's rule basically is the following. To find the value of P1 or to solve for P1 is to do the following. P1 equal determinant of A1 over determinant of A. And uh, P2 equal determinant of A2 over determinant of A. And then here we're going to do finally P3 equal determinant of A3 over determinant of A. Now, I, I know matrix A is, is this one, but I need to find the determinant of A1, A2, and A3. And here I'm going to show you how to set up or how to structure matrix A1, A2, and A3. Now, I'm going to rewrite again matrix A here. Negative 11, 1 and 1. 1, negative 6, 2, 1, 2 and negative 7. So, this is matrix A. Now I need to structure or set up matrix A1. Alright. Matrix A1 is basically to replace the first column of matrix A with the co with this vector. So 
this vector first, 31, negative 26, negative 24. And leave the other two columns and change. So this is matrix A1 and matrix A2 is to replace the second column of matrix A with this vector and leave the other two columns and change. 11, 1, 1 and This is matrix A2 and mix matrix A3 as we do the same thing we're gonna replace the third column of matrix A with this vector and we leave the other two column and change. Alright, now I have matrix A, matrix A1, A2, and A3. Uh, I have everything now to solve the problem. I just need to find the determinant of A1 and divide it by the determinant of A to get P1 and divide determinant A2 by A determinant of A to get P2 and then do the same thing for P3 by the divide determinant of A3 by determinant of A to get P3. Uh, I have the, the determinant here already. Determinant of A1 is uh, negative 1, 6, 0, 4 and determinant of A is negative 4, or 1. If you do the division you get Four. P1 is 4 and here determinant of A2 is uh, negative 2 8 0 7 divided by 4 or 1 you get 7 and number 3 or determinant of A3 is negative 2 4 0, 6 divided by 4 or 1, negative 4 or 1 equal 6. So here we go. These are the three uh, prices for the equation. Now, let me recap what I just did here. Uh, I have three equations, three unknown. I set both equations equal each other and then I move the variables in one side and the constant on the other side. I transfer it to a matrix format. And then uh, after that, I uh, structure or I set up matrix A1, A2, A3. Then I find the determinant of A1. I divide it by A to get the price of P1. And I divide the uh, determinant of A2 by determinant of A to find the price of P2 divide the determinant of A3 by determinant of A to find the price of P3 thank you very much for watching